Hey, Mark Nelson. Today what I want to talk about is finding your dream customer. The criteria I use and many other people use to find their ideal customer. And I have 10, a list of 10 that I've had to write them down because I'll forget and then I won't know which ones that I want to talk to you about. The one is, now this might sound really different, but I want to talk, find a customer that actually goes out and buys and uses products. Right? Because I don't know about you, but man, I, I was one of these people that actually would buy and then I wouldn't use it. So I stopped buying. But I want to find people that actually know what they're looking for. They buy it and they use it to help build their business. Does that make sense? So that is one huge thing. The second one is I want to know somebody, I want to find somebody that actually knows what their problem is. You know, I don't, I don't want to go through and make a list like if you're doing a, a lead generation, that they don't know what their problem is. I want to know, know those people. I want to find the people that actually know what they their problem is then I can help solve that problem when they actually know what they need know what they're looking for the next one is that they feel hopeful man I think that's the biggest thing in the world is oh my goodness because I don't know if you ever work with anybody that just they always feel the world is against them nothing's happening I want them to say hey, this is the product I've been looking for I know if I put everything together this is the product I've been looking for and then I want to see find people like my ideal customer that they know value and they see it right there's so many people out there and, and I know I'm this I'm not against them but they're really looking for the cheapest product they can find see I, I want to know if I want to find people that put out great value and I'm gonna buy from them no matter what so I want to find people that know value and then they see when value is there because that means they're gonna be buyers and they're gonna use what you put together and actually win with that. I want people to have some level of success. And that can be a challenge because many people have not had success. They're searching for it. And it doesn't have to be a, a big success, but you know, again, if I'm going to talk about online marketing or lead generation, if they've gotten some leads, they've had some success, they've had people sign up for a free giveaway. They've had people that come in and say, hey, I want what you have. So they have felt that and earned it and knows how good that feels to have some level of success. If it's health and wellness, I want to have somebody that knows that actually started, if they're on a weight loss journey, that actually started and lost some weight because they know how good that feels. I want some that have, uh, they consume content regularly. Right? I mean, I'm one of these people I'm always reading. I'm always watching videos. I'm always trying to get better myself. So I'm looking for somebody who is trying to make themselves better all the time because I know they know that they need some help and they're look, gonna look for the right products. Now this might sound really weird, but I want somebody, a customer, I'm looking for a customer that has, knows their own identity that knows who they are. Otherwise, I'm going to be always talking to them. I, I'm not a life coach. And I think a life coach goes through and really helps people out trying to find who they are. And yes, I do part of that. But at the same time, I'm looking for somebody that really knows who they are. They might need some confidence boosting, might need somebody that's kicking the butt. But I want somebody who knows their identity. And then I want some people, I'm looking for the person or the identity that, that uh, they talk a lot about their life. Mean that when they buy my product and they have success, but they're going to shout it out at the top of the world. They're going to tell everybody, man, I bought this product and holy crap, it just solved every problem I had. So I want people who aren't afraid of telling people what they've done. Then it's a, we, this is kind of their identity, but they have a strong sense of self. They know what their, their values are. They know who they're worth. They know what they want to achieve. They aren't afraid of who they are. And the last one, and this is just, I think the biggest of all, is they have to be willing to dream. Right? They have to want to dream. See, I wake up every, every morning dreaming about where I'm headed, dreaming about the lifestyle my wife and I are gonna run dreaming about who we're going to help. I do it all the time. If people have lost their dream, then they, I don't know if you can help them. You can't 
help them with their dream. So those are my 10. It's a great list. I'm going to go through it again really fast. Someone who buys and uses products. That's number one. Two is someone who knows that, what their problems actually are. So, because you don't have to really just always tell people what their problems are. Three, they feel hopeful. So that means they're naturally hopeful that they, you can actually go out and help them. Four, they know value when they see it. The fifth one is have some level of success. They've had some level of success. Sixth one was they consume market content regularly. Seventh one, they know their own identity. Eighth one, they talk about their life. So when they succeed, they just blast it out the world. Ninth one, they have a strong sense of self, who they really are. And the last one, they need to be willing to dream. So how cool are those? Hey, if you got value from this, please like and share it. I have a great resource down below. If you're looking for a way to make market money on mine, I have three secret tips for how you can make money being an affiliate marketer. Click on that link and I'll help you out with a free ebook. Y'all take care. Bye.